In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the Windows update error that says complete updates to maintain security of your device. Now, the very first thing we need to do is go and open up your start menu. And then in the search box, you're going to type in the word troubleshoot and then click on troubleshoot settings. Click on other troubleshooters. And next to the Windows update, click on the run button. And then after a couple of seconds, it will say, which problem are you experiencing? Click on, I can't download, install or uninstall an update. And then it will ask, can we run the automated diagnostics? Press yes. So now you'll just need to wait while this tries to detect any issues with the Windows updater. And once you've done that, we're gonna open up the start menu once again, type in Windows security and click on this window, then select virus and threat protection scroll down to manage settings and make sure that real-time protection is turned on and enabled you can then close out of this window go and open up the start menu and search for services and then just click this services window scroll right down to the bottom of this page until you see the windows update service and double click on this make sure the startup type is set to automatic and then press apply and okay. You can then double click on this again and click on the stop button. You can then press the start button and then you can close out of this window. And finally, we're just going to right click on this and press restart. Now, all you need to do is open back up the start menu and search for settings and click on this window. Now from the left hand side, select Windows update, click on check for updates. And if there's any updates found, you'll need to go and install these now. You'll also need to scroll down to advanced options and click on this. Scroll down and click on optional updates and also make sure everything is fully up to date in this window here. If there is any updates available, you'll also need to install these. Now, if you have tried all of these steps and it's still not working, you can just go and open up the start menu, search for CMD, and then right click on the command prompt and run this as administrator. In this window, type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then press enter. So you'll just need to wait for this to get to 100%. It should only take a few minutes and this will scan for any corrupted or damaged files on your system. So once it gets to 100%, you can then go and try and update your system once again. And hopefully now that should have solved the error message. Let me know in the comments if you did find this video helpful.